morning student 5 students today in this class we will discuss about movement in animals in chapter 5 so let us start about the movements in animals so first is we will discuss why do animals need to move why animals need to move from one place to another place animals need to move in order to obtain food to protect themselves their babies from being hunted by predators and to build their nest. That means animals move mostly to obtain their food and they also run away from their predators to protect themselves and their babies also they protect. So they need to move from one place to another place to protect themselves and their babies also and for building their nest also they are searching the place where they can make their home and they protect themselves also and their babies also and they move from one place to another mostly they move to obtain their food now next we will see about why do animals move you can see here some points are given here fighting for territory that means for their territory that their area na, they fight for their area where other are coming then they start fighting climb for food that means they can go anywhere for getting food Migration for harsh climate, they survive. Uh, they survive by moving from one place to another. For the harsh climate or for not getting food, also they might migrate from one place to another place. To stock for food, for food also they are uh, moving from one place to another. So all these reasons are there. Why do animals need to move? Or types of movement. There are different types of movement in animals. Animal of all shapes and sizes move around in many different ways using different body parts to help them. Legs, fins, flippers, wings, tails and so on. Different body parts they use. Different animals use different body parts to move. Different types of movement in animals are hop, skip, jump, run, slither, slide, glide, fly, swim, burrow, climb, soar, hover, creep, crawl. Wiggle, the least of ways animals move is endless. That means there are many different organs also and different types of movement also in animals to move from one place to another place. Now let us see about these all movements in the animals. Animals that fly, that means some animals can fly. So let us discuss about that animals that can fly. The only animals that can truly fly are birds, insects and bats. These three animals can fly truly. Other animals manage to travel through the air by gliding from great heights. That means they can glide from one great height, but they cannot actually fly like birds and some insects and bats. For an animal to fly, it must have wings. So, the animals, those who can fly, they have wings for flying. So, let us see about some animals that have wings. You can see birds, birds have wings. Bat also, you can see the stage skin is uh, working like wings. And butterflies also have wings. Many insects have wings so that they can fly. Now movement in insects first let us discuss. We find all kinds of ways of moving around. Flying, swimming, crawling, burrowing as well as simply walking and running in insects. So insects can crawl also. They can swim also in the water. They can fly also with the help of their wings. They can burrow also as well as simply walking also. And they can roll also. So all these types of movement we can see in insects. Movement in insect you can see. Butterflies they fly. And they suck nectar from one flower to another flower. They have to move to suck the nectar. Insects can move in various ways. They can walk, jump, fly, hop or crawl. Butterflies and mosquitoes have two pairs of wings that help them to fly. So they have a pair of two pairs of wings that help them to fly. Some insects can walk. So walking insects, insects are small animals with six legs. They have six legs. Insects walk with the help of legs. They walk through the contraction and relaxation of muscles. So they, walk, they also walk and they walk mm -hmm. through the contraction and relaxation of their muscles. So insects can walk also. Now next we will see about the walking insects. Leaf insect, you can see leaf insect, it just look like it's leaf and it's uh, camouflaged with the leaves. They can walk, stick insect also you can see, they are looking like a stick and merging with the stick to camouflage. So they can walk, they have long legs. 
insects that can fly some insects can fly most insects have wings and can fly you can see here muscles attached to three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings help cockroaches to walk and fly respectively that means they have three pairs of legs that help them to walk and two pairs of wings attached to the body that help them to fly two pairs of wings you can see here two three pairs of legs also shown in this picture you can see one two and three you can see wings also shown here so this helps the cockroach to fly and walk butterfly also you can see two pairs of wings are there in the butterfly in this picture it is shown one two here also one two that means two pairs of wings they have for fly flying insects you can see common house fly also dragon fly also butterfly also insects that can crawl some insects can crawl on you can see in this picture centipede insects such as bait bug and lice do not have wings they cannot fly some insects do not have wings and they cannot fly they simply they can move by crawling spiders ticks mites etc can also crawl so their movement is crawling you can see here bed bug mice and many insects you can see lice also they don't have wings they can only crawl insects that hop some insects can hop the list of insects that can hop is endless crickets frog hoppers brown banded cockroaches flea beetles locusts leaf hoppers bed bugs and more so they can hop from one place to another place grasshoppers uses long hind legs for hopping they are hop like frog grasshoppers their long hind limbs help them to hop from one place to another in far distance they can go by one hopping so there is all animals all insects can hop you can see here grasshopper some bugs some other insects are also here they can hop from one place to another place insect that can swim some insect can swim also insects like water boatmen which live in water use their legs as oars for swimming you can see their uh, legs so much long legs they have with that hair leg they can swim and they use their legs as oars for swimming so you can see water boatman picture two long legs they have to swim in the water birds that fly now birds can fly they have truly they have wings to fly most birds can fly the four limbs of a bird are in the form of wings that's why four limbs is modified into wings the wings have feathers the wings are attached to the breast bone of the bird with the help of strong muscles these muscles enable the bird to fly its wings that means their muscles will be very strong so that they can flap the wings to fly a bird uses its hind limb when it lands after a flight it also uses its hind limbs to walk run hop and perch with the hind limbs they are sitting on the branch and perch the tree or wherever they are sitting they can walk also with the help of their uh, hind limbs they can hop also the hind limbs are also used to scratch the ground catch prey and attack enemies so with the hind limbs they can attack the enemies also they can catch prey also and they can scratch the ground also to search insects like in hen strong muscles you can see hollow bones these are an adaptation in the birds for flying they have hollow bones so that bones can become light and they can raise their body in the air hollow bones are very much good adaptation in the birds for flying large lungs so to increase the capacity of the lung to give them more and more energy while flying and strong muscles help them to flap their wings so these are all important adaptation in birds to fly you can see highest flying birds in the world all these birds can fly very high kite eagle you can see this these animals can fly very far albatross albatross you can see they have very big wings and they can fly very high in the sky pigeon also can fly you can see pigeon flying birds birds that cannot fly but some birds have wings but they cannot fly why though all birds have wings some are unable to fly because their wings are too weak for flying their wings are present but they are so weak that they cannot fly with the help of their wings 
Some birds like emu, ostrich, penguin and kiwi cannot fly as their wings are too small and weak in comparison to their large bodies. That means their bodies are very large, you can see. But the wings are so small that they cannot, they are not able to carry the body, heavy body in the air. That's why they cannot fly. You can see here. Penguins also body is very heavy compared to their wings. So they cannot raise their body in the air to fly. You can see here, kiwi also. They are also, they don't have so much developed wings. Emu also, so large body they have, but the wings are small as compared to the body, so they cannot fly. Cassowary also, flightless bird. So, some birds are not able to fly, so they are known as flightless birds. But mostly the birds fly because they have wings. So, thank you students. We have learnt about many different movements in the animals. We will meet in the next class again. Thank you.